Welcome back to this edition of On Every Front, showcasing our citizen soldiers and airmen as they answer our nation's call to duty. I'm your host, Army National Guard Staff Sergeant Adam Fishman. In today's digital world, the Department of Defense has gone to great lengths to secure our cyber infrastructure. But are we still safe? Although cyber threats continue to evolve, threatening guardsmen both at home and while in uniform, our highly trained guard members are continuing to exceed the standard by operating at the forefront of cyber threats through a program known as Cyber Shield. Comprised of eight members with varying skill sets, computer network defense teams in the National Guard are located in each state's headquarters and trained to work together to respond to cyber threats. We have attacks every single day. Every day in the Guard Net, which is the National Guard's network, we have over 100,000 attacks in a week that are defended against our cyber warriors. Our cyber warriors come from all walks of life, but many of them come from the field of IT. They work for companies that, uh, that are very familiar names, Google, the Cisco's, the Hewlett Packard's. And we've had an opportunity to work with them this week because of the, the generosity of the leadership of the National Guard and the tag support for our cyber defense which we have the opportunity to work locally, we have the opportunity to work nationally, and we have the opportunity to work all of the seams, which is one of the good things about the citizen soldiers of the National Guard. The first thing is the, the training we're getting. Any time that you have the ability here to work in a controlled environment and see real actual exploits that happen in the world but are happening here in a controlled environment. Well, special log on security privileges. It, it's, it's an amazing uh, opportunity to see what they really look like, things we don't see every day, what we read about in the security blogs, to actually see them and detect them and agree, and, and we gain confidence. So we, we gain confidence in seeing in our ability to react. The challenge with cyber threats is that uh, they're constantly evolving. Um, the tactics that we used five years ago are completely inadequate to today. Um, there's not enough uh, cyber defenders out there currently, uh, and uh, with the threats evolving at the rate that they evolve, it's very difficult for defenders to keep up. A lot of times people don't realize that they're having a problem because these uh, advanced persistent threats get in there, they get embedded, and they beacon back without that individual knowing, and usually you find out when somebody else exposes your problem, not that you actually dis uh, discovered it yourself. So organizations like the CND, um, are valuable to state government and federal government because we can come in and help them assess where they're at, provide those years of best business practices that the DOD is ingrained in, in those uh, individuals and help them apply that uh, security culture to their current organization. Drags the command part over to here so I can see what they're using. At the end of the day, uh, you really feel like you made a difference. You know that when you worked with a state agency or you worked with a government agency or, or you talked to somebody about a problem that you walk away and you know that uh, you helped them, that uh, you made that network a little bit safer, that you, um, you just, it's very fulfilling. It's just, it's, it's really hard to, to kind of put into words, but you just, you feel good about the experience. It's one of the, it's one of the few opportunities that uh, I've had in the, uh, in the National Guard where really at the end of the day you really know you made a difference. Although our CND teams train and operate diligently to protect our cyber infrastructure, they cannot do it alone. Small steps can be taken by all of our Guard members to better protect our national security at work and our personal information at home. As most cyber-related threats originate from unclassified sources, Better management of financial accounts, email accounts, and social media pages are just a few examples of how all Guard members can help mitigate cyber threats. From National Guard Bureau Headquarters, thanks again for watching this edition of On Every Front. Whether at home or abroad, your National Guard is everywhere America needs us to be. Always ready, always there.